Hi everyone, it's Clyde here at Vibrant Soap and today I'm going to make a soap called um, Sierra Nevada and it's basically a remake of a soap that I made called um, uh, Conifer Herb and I like this name better plus I'm going to make the design a little bit more rustic and it's um, tapping into a little nostalgia for me because we live in Southern California and when I was younger my parents used to take us camping up in the Sierra Nevada um, and it's really just beautiful up there. Um, hope to get up there again soon. So um, I remember the sights and smells. Um, there's pine and this fragrance. I mixed it uh, on my own and there's sandalwood and um, there's some pear in there and um, uh, pine essential oil. Um, lots of things, frankincense and all together it uh, smells wonderful. When I opened up the bottle of the pine essential oil, the first thing I thought of was um, pine salt and I just couldn't live with that but um, I can still smell the pine and I can smell it amongst all these other scents and it just smells um, terrific now so um let's get started okay so let me just blend all this good stuff together first goat's milk put in lactate shea butter did I say goat milk already kale and clay and oils. And let me add the lye. And thanks for coming with me on this sort of sort of um, nostalgic journey today because I'm thinking about my childhood when we would go up to the mountains, go camping. And let me get my scent in there too. We went there for enjoyment, to get away from the city, but, you know, um, my parents just basically taught us um, the importance of nature and taking care of it without even saying that. We were just enjoying it and appreciating it. Okay, let's get the colors in. Okay, so let's get some of this in. Let me get my spatula, which is way over there. And um, I'm going to start with... Um, what I need the most of. Let's make sure I have enough of that. Just a wee bit of white and just a wee bit of black and uh, I'm going to have as much green as this um, mix of ochre and um, red oxide and the rest is going to be in this pot that I blended everything in That's going to be my forest green. Let me make sure the camera's on. And this forest green is um, just a mix of uh, my deepest green and then some um, activated charcoal. Okay, we'll see how that goes. So let's go for my white first. to the screen. Let's go to my red ochre. This red ochre is um, out of my mind's eye also remembering that um, the redwoods and uh, the deserts that we would pass on the way through the Sierras, and I think that one needs a little bit more green. Oh good, I got all kinds of bubbles in there. But we can stir a lot of that out. I made the design differently this time. It just turns out that a lot more of the guys like this, and so I'm going to make it more of a um, earthy, more color, um, and more earthy colors in this one rather than the pastels. 
I had like light purples, whites, yellow in it before. So when I first started making videos, I made that. And I was using one of my paintings of, uh, of the bay in Vietnam as my inspiration for the design. Ha Long Bay, which is beautiful. And the soap is behaving itself. Oh, I didn't even mix my black. That's... smells good smells really really good okay let's get my mold over here I'm really liking this mold from essential deep go to okay so this is the forest green And then the white and medium green are going to be part of an in the pot swirl. Let me scrape this down first. Save a little for the top. Give that two spins. Let's pour that pretty much in the middle. Save some for the top. And then the um, black and this red oxide and ochre are going to be part of the other in the pot swirl. Save some for the top there. that in there. Most of it down the middle. Let's get some of this forest green back in there. I'm wondering if I'm going to do that spoon swirl now because I think these drop swirls are going to look pretty incredible as it is. Yep, I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay, let me get the bubbles out. Okay, so what do I want? I think I'm going to start with my darker colors. First for the top. And there's a reason for that too. Often the the mountains as we went through the highway on the way to past Mammoth and the June Lake Loop, you'd see snow on the tops. So I'm gonna end up with white. So start with dark and get lighter. Last of my medium green. There's a little white in here, remember, it was part of that in the pot swirl, which is perfect because the white on top of that will be more integrated. I have to um, sort of picture the colors before they actually happen in, in the design, and probably one of the best ways that I do that is I have a general idea when I go to bed and my mind just kind of works on it and in the morning I pretty much have an idea of what I'm going to do. Okay, so.
just the very top. And I just, I don't really need an, a lot of white because, as I recall, when we would go up to the Sierras in the summer, the snow wasn't everywhere, but you could uh, find bits of it as you looked up the altitudes of the mountain. And I liked that. And we need a lot more of that snowpack up there because as it melts that's what gives us some of our water. Okay so let's see here what am I going to do now? Um, I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to make real light peaks. Down the middle. Although this is a guy soap, just a little bit of glitter down the middle on the white just makes me happy to think that I'm helping that illusion of the snow. That's it, just a very little bit. And that's the soap. I can Clean up my mess a little bit. This is my soap called Sierra Nevada. And be back for the cutting video before you know it. Um, thanks for watching. This is Clyde at Vibrant Soap. And um, thanks for watching. Bye now.